Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple clicker game with a progressive multiplier system. Now, let's just get straight into it. Get your maker pen out. First thing you're going to need is an interaction volume. Put that maybe right here. And now we're going to configure our interaction volume, or sorry, edit. Our interaction volume. I'm going to click configure on this plus sign and start deleting functions that we don't need. So we don't need the set interaction prompt. Delete that. Set locked. Don't need that. Hover end. We don't also need that. Hover start. We don't need that. All we need is the on use. So all you will see is the on use. You could also delete the player use. I'll do that too. Come in here, inputs, outputs, player that used, delete it. Then we come back into the object board and just delete all of these. Click done. And all you're left with is just the interaction volume on use button. Clone this one because we need two of them. Put this one off to the side for now, but we will come back to it. We do some more configuring on the board. Click detach and move it up here. Now we're going to make the click system first, which is pretty easy. So let's get an int variable. We'll rename it to clicks and make it a cloud variable. <laughs> Next, we'll need an add chip. We'll put that up here. Put the top one to that one, just like that. And instead of having just two, we'll add an input. Leave the bottom one empty for now, but we will use it later and put this one as well. Next, get a text. Make it the CV2 version. Also detach this one and move the text out of the way. Now, put this one up here. Get a two string. That right there. Take the output of the clicks and put it into this one. Next, get a string format. Put that over here. Put the result into the value and then put into this one points squiggly bracket zero and then squiggly bracket. Just like this. Next, put the result into the text so that whenever you use this one, it goes up. <laughs> That's the point system done. Next, we'll do the multiplier. So take this one, put it over here, configure it to be detached. Scoot it back just a little bit. Next, get a F chip. Put it under that one. On use. Next, get a greater or equal to. Greater or equals. Put that right there. Put the result into the F chip. And then put the greater into this one. Now we'll leave this one empty for now because we have to come back and make the cost for the multiplier. Now we need another int variable. <laughs> we name this one to multiply. 
also make it a cloud variable. Get another adjective. That one there. Um, and we're gonna add one. I also get a player show subtitle. That right there. To the else chip, I put not just to show that they don't have enough points to actually use the multiplier. Set it to whatever time you want. I like to put it at zero point five. Next, we'll need clone of clicks over here. Put multiplier into it, and instead of an add chip, we need a subtract. Oh. Subtract. Connect it like you would the add chip. Put. We need another int variable. Sorry. Int variable. Put it. Into from the clicks into this one. Rename this one to multiply multi. Cost. Also make it a cloud variable. <coughs> Next we'll need another chip. And let's just make it one hundred. So every time we Use the upgrade, it'll go by one. Next, take this one and put it into there. We also take the multiplier cost and put it into this one. Now it should work. Take this one, put it into there. Now we need another two string. That right there. Put this one into the multiplier cost. Get another string format. The value to the result. We'll upgrade by the zero. Yeah, I like to put these little brackets things. Don't have to do that, but I like to do that. Next, get another. We need another text. Let's get another one. I'm also, going to detach this one. Put the value of this one into there. Also, put set text into this one <laughs> this is just so that whenever you click anything it'll set the text it's kind of just like a precaution so it's not really that buggy or bad looking next put the result into the text so that whenever i click this one it'll upgrade the upgrades too so that when a new player touches it, it automatically displays all their info. So I don't have enough points, but it shows it. That's pretty much the entirety of it. But I also want to show how to put a leaderboard with it. Now we need a leaderboard set local player stat we're going to need two of those put this one right down here and put the other one like right here take the output of the set text into the first one 
and take the output of this one into this one. So I mean, really, we can move this one up here. Get, we'll make this one the points one. So for points, and then this one for multipliers. Put it into their respective channels. So I'll make this one two, and this one three. We need another text. Detach our text and move it down right under the upgrades. Get a two string. We could put this over here. Take the values of the multiplayer and put them into here. And take the result and put it into the text. And just take it from this leaderboard. <laughs> now that every time you click on upgrades, it'll say how many upgrades you have. So for me, I have two multipliers. We can also set up, I already spawned in a leaderboard just for this. So let's configure our leaderboard. <laughs> Disable stat one. Disable all the stats that you're not gonna use. So I'm gonna use stat two and three. So I'll disable every other one. Now we have stat two and three. So let's change this one to points. This one also to points. For ascending. Flyers. For ascending. And that's pretty much our entire leaderboard setup. Just so that it shows points and multipliers. Now this is just for the quality, but let's get a event receiver and get room loaded and get two text set text text set text one and two. Put this one into the first one. And this one into the second one. Put this one as points zero. And then put it upgrades also as 100 since it's the minimum that you need. Just so that when the room loads, this is what players will see instead of just text and text. We can also add another text set text just for purposes. We get just make it one or zero to say. That whenever the room is loaded, this is what it looks like. Connect the multipliers into the bottom one. Yeah, that's pretty much the entirety of the clicker and multipliers. There is a way to add a kind of rebirth system. You would basically just make another set of int variables. So you just basically just copy over the multiplier, the clicks, and the multiplier cost and make it its own separate thing to where it'll subtract all of the multipliers and clicks while also adding one to a different int variable. I can make another video on this in the future if you want. Just leave a comment and I will see it. But thanks for watching.
and I will see you in the next video.